Oh hey, it's Wes. And as a photographer, there are so many options for connecting your camera to your body. You've got the straps that come with the cameras. You've got holsters and rapid crossbody straps and dual straps and wrist straps. What's the best option? So much to choose from. If you work long days in photography like I do doing 12 hour weddings, you can get sore, you can get strains. And I'm not getting any younger. So I want to know what's the best and safest way to be holding your camera all day, or even for just for short periods of time. Now, I'm not an expert. So, how about we find an expert? And on top of that, let's find someone who's been a photographer for longer than I have. Let's find out how to keep ourselves safe and healthy over the long term. I'm going to need my photography vest for this. Let's go. Hi, uh, I'm Jennifer Michelle from Jennifer Michelle Photography. I've been a photographer for uh, 10 or 11 years now. And in the last three to five years, I have experienced um, quite a bit of back pain and shoulder pain associated with hours and hours of being on my feet and shooting. Uh, so I'm here to hopefully get some advice as to what I can do to eliminate or at least help with some of that pain. Hi everyone, my name is John Gonzalez, I'm a physiotherapist. I've been a physiotherapist for about 15 years now. I treat elite athletes all the way to weekend warriors and everyone in between. And uh, I'm looking forward to our conversation today, talking about camera straps and all the different things that, how it affects your body. Okay, so this is my normal setup. Okay. Has been for quite some time, uh, close to 10 years now. I've been shooting with just the strap that comes with the camera. Um, as you can see, um, I do shoot often with quite a heavy lens, also a flash. Um, normally within about an hour being on my feet with this, I end up holding it this way because the pain starts to shoot and radiate down my neck and across my shoulders. Oftentimes on this side here, I experience tightening of the muscles here, which then starts to radiate down through my lower back. So if there's, you know, if you have some tips on what I can do with this and why I would experience that type of pain, you know, with this type of strap. Obviously this type of strap is not ideal and it's not meant for someone to be using it for an extended amount of time. I would maybe say 20 minutes mm -hmm. and where you have to use it for hours, eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours. 10 sometimes. hours, sometimes 12, yeah. yeah. This, the strap, the way it's resting along the back of your neck, I'm just gonna show yeah, here absolutely. from the body there yeah. uh, and I'll just move your hair. Mm -hmm. It's sitting right at the, pretty the lower aspect of her neck spine or the cervical spine. A heavy camera like that, even a smaller camera with a regular lens, it's still, it's providing like a sheer force on the spine forward. So the vertebrae that it's kind of resting against, it's kind of bringing that vertebrae a little bit forward on the ones that are below. That by itself is something that your body probably could withstand, but over the years and the cumulative effects, it does take a toll on the way, how the vertebrae sit on top of each other. When you do that to the, to the, to the spine, like your nerves that exit at every level of your back, there's only so much space that it has to exit the spine. And when you take one vertebrae and you shear it or you move it forward or in the other, you make that space that the nerve has to exit the spine even less, which would cause like radiating pain down your arms. And I think you say you have radiating pain, but more on one side than the other. Yes. That's probably what it's coming from. Okay. That's one reason though. Another thing too is like, even just having this here, it's not even think about the, uh, like the, the pulling the force strain. on, the, on the, the strain, the forward pull on the vertebrae. Mm -hmm. Also, it's kind of like, kind of adopts, has to, it makes you adopt a certain posture, right? And when you're kind of like this in a flexed forward position, your other muscles are trying to like keep you in a, what they think is the better position. So those muscles are staying on the entire time. And when they're on for a long time, they start to talk back to you and say, I don't like this. And that's why you're feeling strain. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Those are the main two things I would probably say is that plus the amount of years you've been doing it, plus the amount of time every time you're doing it, mm -hmm. that's, that's what's got you to this point. So hopefully you've changed straps. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There are a few other options that photographers have um, as far as straps and different apparatuses that they use in order to help alleviate some of that pain. I'll okay. show you something else that we often use and I, you can maybe go over that with me and of explain course. why that would be better or worse okay. or... Okay, great. So John, this is a strap that I myself have never used. Um, I have mm -hmm. seen it in action before. Um, it's actually a little scary for me to think about having the size of a lens and scary. a flash. Um, however, I'm scared to let my arm drop. I can only imagine the weight of picking this up all day long, every day. Just now in the 30 seconds that I've had it on, I find it very uncomfortable. Um, so what would you say 
Aside from the risk <laughs> risk of damaging your equipment, right? <laughs> that too. I feel like what's happening here is like you could get your your cut your circulation cut off here at your wrist, right. right? It's a lot of weight on your arm pulling down. So that's like we call it like traction. So it's tractioning your arm, pulling down the entire time. So what that does to your shoulder is there's a force that's pulling down. And so that can that can really affect the nerves, the circulation down your arm, as well as when you're down there. Like I'm just gonna let you hang yep. hang, hang again. Okay. There's muscles in your neck that attach to your neck, to your shoulder blade, that they're gonna be wanting to like kind of work more to hold your shoulder up. And those ones are gonna eventually get sore and then you're gonna have to go to massage, you're gonna develop trigger points, okay. that sort of thing. So right. that strap's not a good strap at all. No, no. this one would not use this. I don't think you should. <laughs> I don't think you should. So alternatively to wearing the kit strap just around your neck, I would probably advise, if you could, to wear it around, at least have it just under one shoulder. And not so much slinging it around a shoulder, kind of just having it on the one side. However, with that comes more problems as well. When carrying a purse, and you have something on one shoulder and has the potential to slip off, your body will just always hold the shoulder up, okay? And when you're holding the shoulder up, there's a muscle that attaches, there's two muscles that attach from your neck to your shoulder blade going from your neck right down here to the shoulder blade. And that's the big trap that everyone knows of. And there's also the one that goes underneath that and attaches just to the top corner of your shoulder blade. That's called the levator scapula. Okay, it's a very technical muscle, but the thing is that's where all, all those two muscles are with, that have all the trigger points. When people go to massage therapy, they're really coming for typically trigger points in those two muscles. And it's because of things like this, where we, we're holding things on one arm, but you know, subconsciously, and you don't even realize, but you're, you're keeping that shoulder up in a tense position. And over time, that's gonna develop trigger points which will develop pain and radiating pain if it gets really bad. So that's why um, this is better than um, the force that when you have it around your neck, but there's better options than this, I'm sure. Yeah, so let's talk about this one. This one is another one. It is more comfortable, I will say. Um, I do still feel a slight pressure or weightedness on one side. It doesn't feel very even to me. So I, I do feel maybe this is because this is my bad shoulder, mm -hmm. uh, but I do feel it's heavier on this one side. I do like that this comes up, very easy to use. It doesn't feel as though the camera is as heavy. It does feel like it is dispersed, the, the weight is dispersed. Okay. But I, again, I do feel a bit more pressure on this side, a little uneven. So what would you say about this type of strap? Out of the straps we've looked at thus far, like the, the kit neck strap and the designer hand wrist strap, this obviously is the best so far. Again, because I mentioned before about like, like carrying a purse, the slings ones are always better. Your muscles don't act the way they would when they're on just one shoulder. And the weight's also on the same side where it's on the left shoulder here and the weight's on the right. So it's just, it's just better. Your muscles re, um, respond better to that type of forces. Um, my suggestion with this, because like you said, it is dispersed, but you still feel it. Mm -hmm. Probably, you know, I mean, halfway through your shift, if you could switch her over to the other side, okay. that way, and all of it may not be like what you're used to, but the thing is you're doing yourself a favor, right? right? By, uh, by changing it up. Okay. Yeah. I like the strap a lot. Yes. Good. So, uh, John, this is a dual. Uh, strap. It's a very common style that a lot of photographers wear. A lot of photographers do shoot with two cameras. I myself feel that it, the weight is much more dispersed. I don't feel the pain so much on one side or the other. However, I do feel that this could fall off at any time. I feel like I would compensate for that quite a bit by adjusting myself and over time this might not work for me. It's too bad there's not something to keep it to there in the middle so that these won't fall off. Mm -hmm. So your brain wouldn't think that's gonna come off <laughs> your, your shoulders. So I think the back is probably a lot of where the design falls. I like it a lot. There's like, it's, everything's even dis evenly distributed like you mentioned. And there's nice padding for your shoulders. There's no forces on your neck like the, the kit strap. And um, you know, because your cameras are kind of almost the same weight, like it's even on both sides. This and, and the, the previous strap we went over, the, the sling strap, I like them both. It just depends on how, I don't know how long you're gonna be able to, to have two cameras on or, you know, cause, just because one of them is very, very big compared to the other side. But uh, obviously this is gonna be much better in the long run than the kit strap or the wrist one too. <laughs> so what I also like about this though is that your posture is really nice when you're, when you're wearing a strap like this. The other one, mainly the kit one and then the one-sided kit strap if you're wearing that just on one shoulder or your, uh, the wrist one. 
it affects your posture. You have a different posture. This one here, you seem to have a very nice posture. The one thing I do notice is that, like with two heavy cameras swinging all over the place, like you're always having all these fluid pressures through your shoulder. And I don't think, don't think that's necessarily the best. I would think that something like this, you could maybe your body maximum, like two hours, I would suggest as a physiotherapist, I would like to see a different option if you were planning on having two cameras on you for, you know, two hours or more, 10 hour shifts like you guys do. Okay, so I'm gonna step in because this is my setup. These aren't my cameras, these are Jennifer's cameras. I'm recording on my cameras. And so what I do is I wear a very sturdy belt, often a double latch, and I put the two spider holsters just on the sides of my belt being held up by my hips and my pants. I haven't had my pants fall down yet, fingers crossed. And so I have easy access to both my cameras and this also lets me do weird things with my cameras without any straps attached to them. What do you think about this sort of idea? So far, this is the best of all of them. The one thing about it that I just gonna, would say and I would caution is that if this is too far forward, okay, then you have weight on the front of your pelvis, it would kind of like make you tilt in a weird way and it would just put extra pressure on your low back. People would feel that after a while. Just think about holding your body like this for a long time, you wouldn't like that. Sometimes they do slide around yeah, and I so have to like wrench them back over. So aside from that, because with, when you put them on your leather belt, it would probably, you could do that a lot. Just make sure that they're always perfectly lateral. And I think that this is best case scenario. Okay. Really, yeah, I'm really excited about these straps. They're, they're really awesome. Uh, there's no pressure through your uh, shoulder, so we're not even worried about posture up there. I'm just worried about what it might do to your low back and the lumbar spine Can curve. To keep things straight or not. Yes but uh, it's, the, it's the best way. The pelvis is very strong at, at, at managing at weight distribution and that sort of stuff. So that's why, this is, that's, that's why they came up with this and that's great. I did tree planting for one summer and while doing that, when you put on your big tree planting harness and bags and stuff, one of the first things they try to teach you is that the shoulder straps are just there for balance. All your weight's supposed to be on your waist and so when I got into photography, I thought, well, these straps, they're kind of annoying, what can I find? And yeah, ended up finding this and I quite like it too. It's similar to when people go backpacking, right? When they have those big backpacks on, let's say 50 liters or 70 liters, like this is the most important part. And it's supposed to sit actually above the um, iliac crest or the okay. top portion of your pelvis. They're always told that this part is just to keep it close to your body, but all the weight is supposed to be coming through the pelvis. Okay. So I think that that same theory and that same principle would, will hold true for these camera holsters. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we have one more thing to look at. Okay, I'll great. switch it back to Jennifer. Okay. So John, um, here is our last um, apparatus. This is more of a belt style. This one personally for myself has been so far my favorite. It feels good, especially for someone like me who has back pain. Obviously I feel no neck pain, but I'll let yes. you no. talk about this. I think as we've been going on today, it just keeps getting better and better, <laughs> really. I was gonna take a look at the back real quick. Compared to the last one we looked at when Wes had it with the leather belt through the loops here, um, as I mentioned, it was a little bit low on the pelvis. That's just the way he wore his pants. But this one here is right on the top of her iliac crest, which is like the round part of her pelvis. And that is where all the weight is supposed to be distributed. And the way she's wearing it is absolutely perfect. So she could have two, these are only five, six, seven pounds. Having those on both sides, there's really no issue as long as you have them up along the iliac crest. I think this is just a wonderful setup and I think this is the best of all the ones we looked at today. Also with this one here, there's no straps up above. So someone like yourself who you had been suffering with shoulder pain, pain going towards your shoulder, down her arms, we're not even worried about that anymore. And so you can still do your job and not have any forces that are you know, causing your, your, your injury to, to remain or get worse. All the forces are down there. And um, someone like myself, if you were coming to see me for physiotherapy, I'd be able to say like, this is really great because we're not affecting down here unless you're hanging from bars and that sort of thing. The one thing about two, I can tell that it's very quick access. You can really just pull it out, no big deal. Very sturdy. Very sturdy and easy. Uh... And you can, place. yeah, and you can move your arms a little bit better so that uh, I have a wider range of motion. I don't feel as though anything's slipping because there's nothing against my shoulders. Um, I feel this particular apparatus um, all the way around is Velcroed. I feel very sturdy. 
I feel my camera, my gear feels very sturdy. Safe. Again, very safe. Again, very quick draw. It can be locked into place. This would be my favorite one as well. Absolutely no pain. I'm not feeling any pressure on my lower back. Uh, I'm not feeling any unevenness, even though clearly one side is heavier than the other. I'm still not feeling any abnormal disbursement on either one of my hips. Feels very good, very strong, very yeah, sturdy. I'm picturing you like at those times during a wedding shoot or something like that where you're, you're waiting, you know, maybe 20 minutes, 10 minutes. And those are the times when there's like just this low force on the body where it'd be pulling on one shoulder, or that shoulder, and right here, it's really nothing. It feels good, right? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, thanks, John. Thanks, Jen. Thank you very much, Wes. Jen, Jennifer. Jen. Jen, Either perfect. <laughs> so glad that you could both help us out today. If you want to see more about either of these fine folks, you can find John Rehab One, the link's in the description, and you can find more of Jennifer's work in the links in the description below. If you want to buy any of these products, there'll be links for that as well. If you purchase through those links, you'll help support this channel and feed my family. And so, until next time, thanks everyone. Let's go take some photos. Thank you.